Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Learning Engineering Solutions. In this video, you will learn the design basics for a sedimentation tank. Sedimentation is the process of removing suspended particles from water. The particles settle down to the bottom of tank and it is achieved by reducing the flow velocity of water. The structure which performs this whole process is called sedimentation tank or settling tank. The working principle of a sedimentation tank is to reduce the flow velocity of water which is termed as setting velocity and let the suspended solids to settle down by gravity. There are mainly four types of settling tanks depending upon the behavior of settling particles. First one is the discrete particle settling. Here the particles settle individually without interaction with the neighboring particles. Second is the flocculent particles. Here the flocculation causes the particles to increase in mass and settle them at a faster rate. Third is the hindered or zone settling. Here the mass of the particles tends to settle in a specific zone and it increases the, its settling rate. Fourth is the compression settling and sedimentation sometimes occurs through compaction of the structure for those particles which are very fine and have a high concentration. These are the parameters uh, which are required for the designing uh, calculations of a sedimentation tank. First one is the setting velocity, overflow velocity, flow through velocity, dimensions of the tank, detention period, sludge zone depth and at the end we estimate the efficiency of the tank. In the first step, setting velocity of the particle is calculated by Stokes law using this equation where Vs is the setting velocity of the particle, G is the acceleration due to the gravity, rho, rho s are the density of water and the density of the particle and Cd is the drag coefficient. Cd is obtained by knowing the Reynold number. For the laminar flow, Cd is 24 by r while for the transition flow, drag coefficient is calculated by this equation. For the turbulent flow, drag coefficient is 0.4. But if the diameter of the particle is less than 0.1 mm, then it is considered as a laminar flow. So the equation of uh, setting velocity for the laminar flow will be changed after substituting the drag coefficient specific gravity of the particle and unit weight equations. Similarly, when diameter of the particle is more than 0.1 mm, then it is considered as a turbulent flow and the setting velocity is calculated by this equation. In step 2, we calculate the overflow velocity and this is the volume of water applied per unit time per unit horizontal surface. Overflow velocity must be less than the setting velocity of the particle. Otherwise, the particle will escape without setting and there will be very low efficiency of a sedimentation tank. The overflow velocity is calculated by this formula and generally it is in the range of 12 to 18 cubic meter per day per square meter. While the flow through velocity is the velocity of water with which it travels from inlet to outlet of the tank and its allowable limit is 0 0.005 meter per second, it is calculated by this formula. In step 3, we calculate the dimensions of the tank, length, breadth and depth of the tank are derived from the area of the tank. And for this purpose, we have to assume the length and depth of the tank using below 
limited values allowable limits using below allowable limits breadth of the sedimentation tank should be 10 to 12 meters the length of the tank should be at least four times the breadth of the tank while the depth of the tank should be 3 to 4.5 meters the detention period is a time taken by the water to travel from inlet to the outlet and its allowable limit is 4 to 8 hours and it, this is calculated by the this formula in the fourth step we estimate the depth of a sludge zone the sludge zone is a zone where settled particles are collected in the form of sludge and generally it is limited to 0.8 to 1.2 meters at the end we estimate the efficiency of a sedimentation tank and it depends upon the setting velocity and the overflow velocity and is calculated by this formula after performing all the calculations we cross check the calculated values with the recommended values for the detention period of a plane sedimentation it should be 3 to 4 hours while for the flocculated sedimentation the detention period should be 2 to 2.5 hours similarly flow velocity should not be greater than 30 cm per minute and the overflow velocity for the plane sedimentation should be 12,000 to 18,000 for the flocculated water it should be in the range of 24,000 to 30,000 the tank dimensions the length by breadth ratio should be 3 to 5 ratio 1 and the length should be from 30 meter to maximum 100 meter while the breadth should be 6 to 10 meter similarly the diameter for the circular sedimentation tank should not be greater than 60 meter and generally it should be 20 to 40 meter and if there is a requirement of slopes in the sedimentation tank design then for the rectangular shape of the sedimentation it should be 1% and for the circular it should be the 8%